Okay, this is Fairley's first go at Browns River in a kayak on her own. We're setting up there at the edge of the river. I skidded the kayak That'll into the water dream. for her and she, I expected her to hang around near the edge. Suddenly what? I look around and there she is, right out in the deep water and potentially being swept out to sea. Fairly. So I'm a bit panicky there, she is in the, in the middle of it, it was really quite strong flow and I was a bit concerned about her so she did a great job to paddle up towards the bridge. Um, strong winds, it was really strong winds and strong flow so she did a great job to paddle up through there, you can see the flow coming past her. I'm at this stage panicking. So here I am t giving chase, I thought I'd better get after and try and catch up with her and see if I can help her. But she's already almost out of sight. Here she is powering away from me, still going well, no problem. Uh, heading up the river, up Browns River in Kingston. Finally I catch up to her. She's still going alright, uh, seems to be doing not too bad. And um, we're chatting and still considering going up the river. Still considering it was threatening to rain and the wind was strong, but we still thought we could do the uh, to do the trip. And um, I'm there just we're chatting about whether I'm testing the depth. It's only about two foot of water; it's not really deep. And suddenly, suddenly she starts to go backwards. If you watch the trees on the side, she's paddling but going backwards you can see those trees going further away from her and then she's being swept into the reeds. So swept into the reeds and stuck, I'm panicking even more. Here I am watching her go into the reeds thinking oh my goodness what's happening. And she's fiddling around and finally she pushes a paddle down and gets herself out of the reeds and she's out of the reeds there now. That looks to be okay. But she's trying to turn around and I thought oh, I'm just don't get to be she is turning around. Now she's out of the reeds and heading back. We've decided to abort, so we're heading back towards the bridge, back to where we started. She's just going past me now. So we're heading back with the wind behind us. It's just starting to rain, very strong wind. We're heading back towards the bridge. Because she's light, she's able to paddle faster than me. Suddenly again, the right wind the blows her over towards the reeds. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, don't go under that little section at the very far left of the bridge. I thought I'd go through there, you'll get stuck. So she got herself towards the reeds and somehow managed to turn away from the reeds. Turning away from the reeds and headed back towards me so that we could go into the safe section of the bridge. I'm out there waiting for it, and I thought if I come in through here and the bumper, it'll bump her in towards the shore, which I did. I put her towards the shore and went in towards the shore, and that was the end of her first trip, a boarded trip up the Browns River. Uh, the tail between our legs. We'll have to fight another day. Thank you.